Hi, everyone. I am Mariel Solomon with the American Speech Language Hearing Association, and I'm also a member of ASAE's Young Professionals Advisory Committee. I'm here with Rita Chen Fujisawa from the Asian American and Pacific Islander Task Force. Uh, Rita, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Um, as you mentioned, I'm Rita Chen Fujisawa. I'm currently uh, Chief Operating Officer of the California Association of Health Facilities. Um, I've served previously on the ASAE Board of Directors. Um, I've had an opportunity to chair the Innovation Grant Program Steering Committee that was part of the Research Foundation. Um, and I'm also a DELP alumni. So I'm, you know, been involved in ASAE and happy to also now serve on the AAPI task force. So I recently joined the AAPI task force, um, but you were with the task force since the beginning. Um, what was the history of the task force? It started about a year ago, and I think it really is a result of ASAE's um, commitment to conscious inclusion. Um, the strategic plan has a goal of building meaningful community. And I think Michelle Mason reached out to certain community uh, figures um, and invited them to create some community groups. So in terms of myself getting involved, it really um, was Don Day re reaching out to me. And everything starts with a phone call, right? Mm -hmm. So um, he gave me a phone call and told me about this group that he was putting together. And it just sounded really interesting. Um, Don is one of those people that taps you gently on the shoulder and he'll go, hey, can you help me out with something? And of course you don't wanna turn him down. And also it just sounded really exciting. Do you have anything to add about why you wanted to get involved? I think it was kind of a group that I had never been involved with. You know, when you focus on um, this community group of Asian Pacific Islanders, I really had never been a part of it. And as part of our journey for the last year, when this group first got together, it really was very powerful at ASAE last year. Um, it was um, a pop-up meeting that we had at annual and the first meeting of its kind, at least for me and for many others also in the group, um, some comments I remember hearing, it's like, you know, some people had never been in a room with so many Asians. And really, we don't see many people that look like us um, if we come to annual because it's so uh, few and far in between. Um, so it, we shared stories, you know, where, how, where and how we grew up. And it was just really interesting learning from each other and connecting. That's what I'm really looking forward to, um, especially um, learning about this group and joining um, and seeing um, folks who are from a similar community as I am. Uh, so the AAPI task force recently developed a strategic plan. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the plan? In a nutshell, I can say that our goal is to reach 7% AAPI participation in ASAE by 2025. Um, when we put that plan together, we had a number of work groups where we had a lot of rich um, conversation. And really, it was, um, you know, growing up as an Asian American we only knew of three career paths, right? Being a lawyer, a doctor, an engineer, or an accountant um, that way. And so being in the nonprofit world, association management world, these were not prospects that we were aware of. So for us, um, as part of the plan, we want to align it with ASAE goals. And um, at the same time, we want to build awareness of association management as a career path and that there's so many different ways to get into it. Um, also, I think it's networking within this community and really building up a representation. Uh, how do you see young professionals fitting into the strategic plan? Um, well, there's so many things that they can be a part of. Number one, if if they wanna to come to this uh, community group meeting that we have at ASAE. Um, the other is just being part of the AAPI community group. And there's different ways to um, really contribute. We're, we're trying to 
formulate different subcommittees to work on aspects of our strategic plan. And it would be great to have um, young professionals be a part of it. I think signing up on the Collaborate group is, a, is another way. We have an AAPI Collaborate page. And um, here's the other thing, it's fill out your member profile on the ASAE website. Um, what we discovered as part of our process when we were talking is that really only 18% of all ASAE members have filled out their profiles. And of that, we discovered, um, you know, really there were only a little over 200 um, people who identified as AAPI from that. So definitely go out and fill out your profile so that you can be counted. All right. Um, I know I did. That was the first thing I did when I uh, created my profile. Um, so this is my first time at annual this year, which is coming up very soon. Um, when we're recording this, it's in about a week. <laughs> so how can uh, we support the API task force at annual? Again, come to the community group oh, yeah. meeting. It's <laughs> on Saturday at 1230. You know, we would love to meet you. You know, just come meet some of us and connect. Um, and it's an opportunity also to join part of the group in all of our efforts. Um, again, as I mentioned, sign up for the AAPI Collaborate group. And um, there's also opportunities to support AAPI peers who are presenting. But also as a first timer, I, you know, you definitely have to plan for the meeting. There's so many things happening. Um, there are also a lot of boundaries. So I want you to, I would want people to really explore all the programs that are available through ASAE. Um, and the other is getting involved in ASAE and applying to DELP. So those are some other ways that young professionals can contribute and be a part of ASAE. Yeah, do you have any advice for those who are interested in joining DELP or applying for DELP? Yes, um, there is a DELP lounge that will be available yeah. there um, at ASAE. And um, I'm a member, you can come talk to me. Mm -hmm. We have some other DELP members also within the AAPI community group, and we would be happy to talk to you more about DELP. Um, it was a great program. Um, so in addition to that, I know that ASAE has created a program called Ready Me, and that is another great program for young professionals to look into as well, and would love to really connect. Yeah, that, are you um, presenting at all at annual? I won't be presenting this time. Okay, but we can find you at the Delp Lounge. <laughs> uh, yes, or at the AAPI meeting and right. throughout, so I hope to meet any of you. Well, thank you so much, Rita, for joining me today. Um, I look forward to connecting with you at annual. Um, do you have any last um, pieces of wisdom for uh, young professionals? Um, I think that my pearl of wisdom is, you know, that take advantage of all the opportunities that are available through ASAE. And if you're interested in the AAPI group, definitely become part of it. I wish that there was that kind of resource for me as I was, you know, going along my career path. And, um, you know, we're accountable for ourselves. And there are so many resources out there. If we don't take advantage of them, you know, that's on us, but it's there for us. Thank you so much, Rita. Thank you.